Good morning guys, yes it's Petrus and Partet with your St. Lucia Experience Morning Beach Walk. I've got my shad rod with me as well. Maybe I can catch some breakfast. See you on the beach. Ah, Papa's a magic cat. Yeah. She's in attack mode. I don't know what she's smelling. We call it a hina mode. She grows all her hair and she looks like one of these cartoon characters from um, Disney's Lion King. She goes all a hina mode when something doesn't doesn't phase her. Second of June, twenty twenty one. President Cyril Ramaphosa signed into effect the National Crime Bill. Now, gentlemen, I'm going to use it. Nothing I've done so far has impeded your income or your chances to earn your family's livelihood. National Cybercrime Act that was signed in on the 2nd of June 2021. Also the fact that you use your powers and your God-given talents to remove and obtain information from my personal devices is also mentioned and stated and described in the National Crime Act. That if you think you can hide well enough that you don't you won't be fined, that's fine. But carry on. If that is what faces you, is that what makes your juices pumping? So be it. The fact remains, because you catch and release a fish, doesn't make you a green warrior. There's a lot of other things that you have to put in place, like your carbon footprint. You invite a friend in need to experience the grace of God in the birth of a new day, and he rejects, rejects your offer. And you come and you experience this beautiful, beautiful smile upon earth. Then you ask yourself, how else can you help a man that's in need of grace if he doesn't want to accept this? If he doesn't want to come and experience this. It even gets better the closer I get to the beach. so beautiful it's absolutely absolutely fantastic now I've been working hard to promote the YouTube channel of a gospel singer but this these hack attacks is on that on those files as well this is how lousy these people are maar kry vir julle mense ek is nie makkelijk iemand wat sê ek stap in die ek wandel in die weer van gerechtigheid nie Maar ek kan vir julle duidelik sê, julle doen nie. 
Oh wow. Any other comments? Except, oh wow. I'm humbled. I'm humbled to be able to experience this much beauty at will. I can decide if I want to be here or not. What a privilege to have that much power. Oh wow. I should use it more often. I should use this wield of splendor. I should yield this sword of splendor more often. Just for in case I must pronunciate one of the words. I should wield the sword of splendor more often. This, ay, 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 just south, about 150 meters from the boardwalk entrance, the people are currently catching shad on sardine bait. There's quite a few fishermen to the north, all the way to Jabila Beach. Oh well. They say, give a man a fish and he eats for the day. Teach a man how to fish and you've got a whole industry. Now I've got this since 2012. And it hasn't got much shad yet. Although everybody else on the beach is catching shad with a drift sardine. Doesn't matter what, which one of my three lures I put on. I don't get a nibble. Now I might be too far north in the bay, it could be that the fish is there in the shallow water only, whichever way, I don't get any. Beautiful water. Shad's coming out on bait everywhere and on small spoons in the bay areas. I don't have small spoons. I must get my smaller rod out, the nine foot rod. It's not a shad rod. I can't try and target shad with a nine foot rod. It's not as successful. Unless if you use bait, which I don't have. I still have to rig myself up to do the morning walks with tackle and bait. So I can do spinning and bait. I'm not rigged up at the moment for that. Ja, ek weet. Ja, ek weet. Dis jou tyd. Maar ik wil vis vang ook. Ja, ik weet die water is prachtig hier ook. Shell a channel, ja. Yeah? Even I'm chokken, the people are catching shit. The shit hunting in the shallow water. I know they normally hunt in shallow water, but this is shallow. Ja, yeah, wel. Well. Can just keep on saying there's not enough food because of the prolonged closure of the estuary over the last 25 years there is just not enough food that spawned here oops now i'm wet
Come, come. See if we can see some Varuna crabs today. Thing is for certain, the building of a sandbar here is increasing over Neep tight. Possibilities of a breach is becoming further and further away. It's not going to be a natural breach. Conditions change overnight. Damn it. The sandbar is moving in further and further into the estuary with every tidal change. Wrong way, Pietrus. You have to cut out again. article came across my way about the rollout of the FPA, Marine Protected Areas of the Isamangalisa Wetland Park. It's amazing how people can use lies and deceit to sell us what they want us to believe in. They are telling us that the Marine Protected Areas Act is helping the silicones. There's no silicones at Cape Idol. And there's no food coming from the estuary to sustain any life form in this bountiful ocean. So how is the Marine Protectors Areas Act that influence our fishing south of Mopalon Bay and north of First Rocks. Now, is that helping the silicon? I don't understand. What I do know, it's protecting the silicon against vertical jigging. Yes, because one of your favorite fishing shows vowed to be the first people to catch on vertical jigging a silicon by accident. And then they killed a lot of reef fish at roughly that depth and they were caught in the act and now we're not allowed to do vertical jigging and some uh, spin off from that we're not allowed to take um, bottom fish as recreational fishing here at St. Lucia Estuary amazing what lengths people will go to to protect their image Here we go. We behind the dunes on the 
southern gin walk on our way back and it's moist the rain of the last two days really made a difference here wat reik jy dit is nie goeie nie, nie jy is nie van ons stel om iets hier te reik nie I don't see anything. Ons die water hier beter is op een ander plek waar dit. A reference point, it looks like if the water receded a bit. Anyway. Hopefully with the northeaster we can have some digging in the ocean again. Oh, this mangrove is, is battling in this mud puddle. No more tidal interaction. And the water wasn't so high for a long time. Can you get inbreeding amongst plants? Because there's not many healthy mangroves left in the system. What happens when they when they get below the genetic healthy pool? Green protein. Green protein. It's the shortest distance that a protein can travel between hook and cook. You can't find it anywhere greener than here at Fisherman's Restaurant Pop and Takeaways. They support the local commercial boats and they sell their catches here fresh on a daily basis. Right in Mackenzie Street at the engine garage. The greenest protein in town. <laughs> 